Guess what, everybody? World War is over. And guess who's the winners? Woo! We're number one. We're number one. Oh, yeah! Woo, woo, woo! We are World War Champions. The United States is on the winning side. And that's a great feeling. And when these soldiers come back to the United States after, they come back to a time period of 10 years or so of peace, prosperity, and partying. This is the Roaring Twenties. The question we'll be answering throughout this topic is, what trends, events, and people shaped the 1920s? Hey, life was good in America for the, during this time. The war is over, that's good. But it was over in winning fashion, that's even better. When you come back as the winner. Soldiers were returning home. They were relieved the war was over. They were happy that they had survived, of course. And they were excited to come back to their lives and get their lives started again and with their families. And the economy was very strong. War is good business. War makes a lot of money. And so the economy was strong as a result of these factories now producing many things that Americans wanted to buy. Those factories had been producing all kinds of things for the war. Now they don't have to produce that stuff to, to fight war. Now they can use those factories to produce things that you and I want. See, we're consumers, you and I. And consumers are people who buy things and use them up. They consume them. So those factories can now start to cons uh, create consumer goods. This first topic is called Modern Life Begins, and modern means moving forward or progressive. At the end of each one of these videos, there'll be a question you'll answer in the, in the Google form. And the question for this one is, what improved life for Americans in the 1920s and how? This is straight out of the binder. That's where I'm getting most of this information. So one thing I want you to know is that electricity now is pretty widespread. Electricity could reach across most of the United States. And so Americans were now able to buy things that could be using electricity, okay? One of those uh, examples would be consumer goods that were being used inside the home. They were intended for personal use. And these consumer goods made life easier, okay? Now, I just mentioned electricity. But these things would also be sold and bought from department stores like Sears. You've heard of Sears before. Sears Roebuck was a department store that actually started by Richard Sears right here in Minnesota. And one thing that he did that was really revolutionary is he sent out a magazine, a catalog. And people could look through the catalog, send in a, a, a form to make their order with their money, and then it would be delivered to them. It was kind of like super early Amazon. That was uh, Richard Sears way back in 1885 or 1886. Okay, so some of those consumer goods that were being purchased were uh, like this one. This is a vacuum cleaner, $28.95. That replaced, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, a broom. This right here is called a Frigidaire. You could take your old ice box, which was basically like a cooler. You'd put a block of ice inside of it and that would cool everything inside of it. Now you could buy this machine, put that inside of it, retrofit it, and it could be plugged in and it would produce cold air. You could also, there goes a the consumer right there. You could also buy a gyrating washing machine that had a motor on it so that you didn't have to wash those things by hand anymore. And you could also get a waffle iron, a popcorn maker, and a toaster, so things that would be used inside of the home. And lastly, something that you all are very thankful for, automobiles. They, may, they were much more affordable now. They produced so many of them that they could be bought and sold um, for low prices. And it made it so people could travel longer distances, uh, like this drifter right here. She's just drifting across the road to see how much she can travel. Uh, this brought the rural areas closer to the urban areas. One other thing this is going to lead into the next uh, the next topic. We saw women in these photographs. We'll keep that in mind for the next video. See you then.